Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit different video than normally. I'm holding the camera by hand and I'm going to show you around the house on some projects I've been working on, or rather one project I've been working on. As some of you know, but most probably don't, I've been Ethereum mining for the last few months. And during the summer, these machines just use a lot of power and generate a lot of heat and Ethereum, so they were profitable, but in all other regards, they were quite useless. Now, however, it's winter outside. It's five degrees, and, well, normally we'd have to use our heating in our home. But we have Ethereum miners, and they produce heat. So let's uh, show you the first miner that's actually in my living room. And it's currently running, so it's not make, making that much noise, otherwise you'd hear it. Um, so yeah, let's take a quick look at that, and then I'll show you the second one, which is upstairs. Up until now, we haven't activated our heat pump or central heating. And currently it's about 22 to 22 and a half degrees inside, so that's working quite well. So, let me uh, manhandle you here. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work. Let me give you some light. So hope the camera just... <laughs> so this is the first miner. It has eight GTX 1060s and a G4400 uh, Pentium, all running on one motherboard. It's an Asus board. I'm not sure which one from my head. Z270A, I believe. And, well, um, it's using power, of course. So let's uh, see my little power meter here. Oh, let me turn off that light. Uh, it's barely visible, but currently it's using about 573 watts of power. And the nice thing is, um, I'm using a sort of custom Linux install on a USB stick. And with these NVIDIA cards, you can actually specify power draw per card in watts. So if it's getting cold in-house, we can actually have the cards use a bit more wattage to generate more heat and also more Ethereum or whatever other coin I'm mining at that point. So this is currently in the living room, as I said. It's... Uh, Nicely tucked away in a corner, as you can see. And well, our cat's right there. Hi, Ziggy. Ziggy doesn't like the light. But it's not making a lot of noise, because otherwise the cat certainly wouldn't lie there. And currently, it's heating up this whole room. A beneficial thing is that up in the ceiling, you see these air ducts, and there's a few of them, and those are from the house air circulation system. This is a, a heat recovery system, so it's a balanced pushing air in and pulling air out. It then replenish, replenishes it with oxygen full air or fresh air from the outside. But before it does that, it exchanges the heat that's in the inside air uh, to the outside air. So basically you have about a 90% efficient heat conversion. If you look on the other side of the room, these are the vents that uh, suck in the air. There's one over there too. So I positioned the miner on that side of the room so that it would generate the heat on that side and then our, well, I guess natural or normal ventilation would pull it through the room. So let's take a quick look at some uh, heat camera shots and you can see the heat coming off of the rig and spreading through the room.
Okay, now that we've seen that, let's move on to the rig upstairs and uh, take a look over there. When you move from the living room to the hallway, you can noticeably feel it getting colder. Oh, let me turn off my light. This is one of the projects I've also worked on. It's my under rail LED lighting for the stairs. I'll be making a separate video about that, but it looks really cool. Okay, in one of the spare bedrooms, let me turn on the light again, we have another rig set up. And this one currently has uh, seven GTX 1060s. I believe these are the six gig models and downstairs I have three gig models. Other than that, the setup is uh, pretty much the same. I'm using a Seasonic 850 watt power supply. Again, the Asus motherboard, an Intel G4400, and some PCI risers and extenders to hook it all up. Again, as you can notice, the noise is pretty low. And here we also have a power meter. Ooh. Sorry about that. Again, this is uh, using 550 watts, but the wattage is perfectly configurable up until about 700, 750, because I don't want to overload my power supply. It's nice and warm here. And again, uh, we have air ducts, which push in the air. And on the other side of the house, for instance, in the bathroom, we have air ducts that pull out the air. And it all gets exchanged in the giant heat exchanger, so we don't lose, lose much energy. Okay, let me walk downstairs again. Okay, we're back downstairs, and I kind of wanted to finish the video of this. So, basically, we're using one of the side products of a mining rig for a purpose it wasn't really meant for but actually works quite well and i'm sure we won't be able to get through the winter uh, without using the heat pump and central heating but for every day we can leave it off it saves power because it's electrically driven and that power is going to the miners anyway so by using that byproduct basically we get a better profit or at least that's how I see it. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.